All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Toby. My name's Heidi. And we are on episode 46 of our Patreon member questions. So if you want to check us out on Patreon, you can see our trade alerts, portfolio, everything. You can submit questions for us to answer on YouTube. All right, let's get into it. Yeah. Um, a link for that is down below. <laughs> yes, description I always forget to say it. For the CT Club, it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, first question. Hello, guys. If crypto crashes at the end of this cycle, as in the past cycles, and inflation or hyperinflation goes up, well, inflation's already going up, uh, returning re about fiat currencies, is it smart to exchange your Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., for stable coins? Since stable coins are tied to the dollar, they will inflate along with the dollar. Yes. I am planning to exchange my crypto for stable coins when the crypto market goes parabolic and buy back into crypto after the crash. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's get into that chart really quick. Oh, yeah. I have. Here is the visual, guys. You can enjoy this. So, yeah, you have to be really careful <clears throat> with stable coins. It's very misleading, stable coins. All right. Let's check out how st actually stable these stable coins are right now. Okay, so let's get into it. So right now, a year-over-year -year price changes for the U.S. dollar. So if you decided to put your, your hard-earned money into a stable coin, you would have lost 272% if you're trying to build something with steel because steel went, uh, inflated 272%. Uh, hogs 135%, you had pork bellies 88%, corn 87%, you know, and the, and the list goes on. So, like, the dollar is inflating. The smart ones are buying cheese. I yeah, just want to point cheese, that out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, all the way at the bottom. <laughs> so, so, you know, you have to realize that Bitcoin is a incredible hedge against inflation. Um, so, it's really hard for me to want to stay into a stable coin. Yeah. It really is. Like, because, like, I know how much currency is being printed. You know, the Fed balance sheet is at $8.3 trillion. And, and the national debt, you know, the, the U.S. is over $28 trillion. You know, you have the ECB, which is going crazy. And their, their actual, um, their uh, Fed balance, or the ECB balance sheet is at 8.2 trillion euro, I think, as well. It's, it's very similar to the U.S. So these countries are printing so much currency; they're inflating away their currencies. Um, I don't, I don't really feel very comfortable being in, into a stable coin. Um, but with that said, you know, it's probably not going to lose 95 <laughs> to 98 percent of its value, like many of unless these. Unless it alts. goes into hyperinflation. Yes, and that's. It, so, so just in the in the pure specific case of hyperinflation hitting, let's say the U.S. dollar, which is the the reserve for most of these stable coins are in terms of U.S. dollars. If it hyperinflates, you're not going to want to go into a stable coin. You're going to want to go into Bitcoin. Uh, that's what people are doing now in anticipation of that. They're not going into a stable coin to protect You're going to go into anything. That. You're going to yeah. go into NFTs. You're not going <coughs> to, I mean, obviously you're going to care about getting the Bitcoin first, yeah. but you're going to buy whatever, essentially, if, yeah. if currencies are hyperinflating, which they will, because historically that's what they do every single time in history, yeah. in the history of the world. But if you are thinking of just like a very short time frame of between the top of a market and the bottom of the crash, that's not that long, like maybe, what, a year, usually? And, and then it starts know. ticking up again. It's about a year if, if this is anything this, this like last one. This one is going ones. to be way different, It might be different. Yeah. But so just the, the relative time frame there of like just using a stable coin as a tool to be able to time the market to save your profits, I think there's not as much risk there as just like, you know, holding a stable coin for a decade or, yeah. you know, like that's like your plan is to hold a stable coin is... Yeah. No, that's Maybe a really bad idea. idea. That's essentially <laughs> like putting your your cash underneath your pillow for yeah. You know, years and years and years. It's it's really dumb. Yep. Anyway. Next question. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. I'm saying hey, guys. I know you both are bullish on Ada or Cardano, along ooh, with ooh. so many other YouTubers. <laughs> My question is, don't you think that that Cardano is way overvalued considering they really have nothing going but promises for the future? Yep. Alternatives like Solana and Polygon are doing so much more at a much lower market cap. Correct. It seems like investing in ADA is being part of the herd. 
It is being part of the herd. Can I just say one thing? Sure, go for it. It's interesting, and it might be I might be you know, a little whistleblower here because you said like most YouTubers. Mm. I think most YouTubers talk about Cardano because it's really good for SEO and it gets them a ton of views. That's why they do it. That's why so I, many I people actually, talk it's, about Cardano. It's not that we think that's why they do it. We absolutely know. <laughs> Whenever why we they put do Cardano this. in a title, for whatever reason, Blows the up. views so, go crazy. I'm gonna put it in the title every freaking time. So whether it's interesting, <laughs> like if that's just like a general thing that's happening, or if that's a direct result of the strong network yes, effect it's network of Cardano. Effect. It's totally so, 100% the network effect. People worship Charles Hoskinson's yeah. every little breath. So it's an interesting takes. little like you know uh, self-fulfilling prophecy or like a cycle that yeah. that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> People are just feeding each other. But uh, anyway, let's talk about this. Is Cardano <laughs> overvalued considering compared to like things like Solana and Absolutely. Polygon? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, it's it is overvalued, but. But does that mean that the price isn't going? Is, isn't going to keep going up? Yeah, yeah. the price is going to skyrocket, in my opinion. I if, think the price is. I think it's. It's going to be way more than it is right yeah. now because simply because of the network effect. Yeah. And and also because of if they do come out with you know their smart contracts and they actually start producing what they say they're going to produce, it's going to yeah. be a pretty freaking fast blockchain. Yeah. It's also, be it's, it's kind fast. of similar to how, you know, when Fa do you remember when Facebook tried to do their own cryptocurrency oh, yeah. um, and how threatening that was to the U.S. The US yeah. was for two reasons. Number one, super centralized, so it was super easy for them to target. Number two, it was super disruptive for them because Facebook had already onboarded so many people that for them Nobody to in introduce that to them, they didn't have this like grassroots effect, like trying yeah. to get people to get into it. They already had the crowd and they were just gonna introduce it. So Cardano is kind of similar to that. I mean, and they're pretty slow compared to Solana. So, you know, yeah, literally. I really like Solana <laughs> and our Patreon members yeah. definitely love it. Yeah, and, and, got them in and so we've, early. for those of you, you are a Patreon member, so you have access to our portfolio yeah. and our trade alerts and you'll know we've been buying Solana at least a lot more, uh, Polygon not so much anymore. We were buying. We were buying it. Yeah. Um, so we're not like, you know, all in on Cardano either. It is a huge, it is a much bigger part of our portfolio than Solana and Polygon. Solana is catching up. So to SEO, but... SEO, uh, uh, Cardano, <laughs> um, uh, what is Solana? it? Solana? Solana, no, 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 no. Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. <laughs> yeah, Cardano, SEO it. Yeah, there you go. That's what, seriously, that's it. That's really what every single one one of these you a lot of youtubers who just who just every youtuber yeah they're just name dropping to get views but yeah well we don't just name drop it to get views we, we actually want to talk to about something yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah anyway <laughs> anyway sorry every we just threw all the youtubers <laughs> we just popped a lot class. of bubbles there <laughs> but uh welcome to the world of youtube <laughs> and cryptocurrency yeah. but also you know just to think that okay cardano is overvalued like there's a lot of coins that shouldn't have any value but they are like i'll name drop three right now Safe Moon, Dogecoin, and Shiba Inu. Yeah, yeah. Like any kind of a meme coin. But it's a like, network effect, on. guys. This a is lot what, of NFTs are like that too. But this is what the network effect does. That's yeah. why Cardano is going to freaking skyrocket because it's got that network effect. And it's you a have, testament to how much money is coming it's in here. It's a cult following. Yeah. And and so does Bitcoin. It has a cult following. And Ethereum does. And, and yeah. well, every coin does. Yeah. So it's not just Cardano. And Cardano actually. I really hope they actually come out with what they're saying <laughs> they're going to come out with because I'm yeah. really going to enjoy playing with their smart contracts. I mean, yeah. gosh, how fast is it going to be? Yeah. I mean, I mean then, then, then Solana has got to compete. I love this space. Charles is so good at hyping up what's soon to come. I can't imagine what he's <laughs> going to be like when there's actually something yeah. for people to use. Yeah, yeah exactly. We'll see. Uh, so guess what, guys? That's it for our, our um, AMA questions. Yeah. If you like this, subscribe. Please hit the like button and uh, yeah, like the like and subscribe and <laughs> and please stay disobedient. Yeah, that is the most important thing. And uh, don't follow the sheep, follow us instead. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.